Hi, this is Rob from SeeHowToDoIt.com. Before we start the video, we'd like to thank you for watching. We'd also like to ask you to please like, subscribe, and share on social media, and visit us at SeeHowToDoIt.com. Today we're going to show you how to install a 36 volt alternative charging system. This will be good if your charger is either lost, broken, or missing. This will be a lot less money than buying the original charger. This particular golf cart I'm working on for a friend, they lost their original charger and they had somebody hook up three individual trickle chargers, which is less expensive than the original charger, especially on a 36 volt system. This would be too expensive, more than likely, on a 48 volt system. And you can see we, I, we have three individual chargers here. This one is actually bad, so we're gonna go ahead and re replace this one, and then we're gonna show you how to hook these things up. And you can see these over here are still good, they're still charging. Once they finish charging, they will turn green. And this one over here, I diagnosed it with a multimeter. You can see it says zero volts. It actually has no output left in here. And like I explained, this is gonna be less than buying the original charger, especially on this particular golf cart. This is really old, so we want to do everything as economical as possible. And these chargers are about an average of $30 a piece. You can find them on the internet. These particular ones did come from Harbor Freight. This is how this charging system comes right out of the box. Pretty much comes with everything ready to go. This we won't be using. This will be connecting right to the battery terminals. Also, when I replace this bad trickle charger right over here I'm gonna make all the wiring neater than it is now including I'm gonna mount all the chargers to probably one of the walls silicone it on so that way you could pop it right off or you could use some glue or, or double-sided tape but depending on your app double-sided tape might not last because when it gets hot things will tend to fall off so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this charger also like all my videos they're always to the point where in some projects you might need some electrical skills. I'm not going to show wires being tightened, uh, connected uh, down. So you will need some skills. This might not be for a novice. I always make my videos to the point to be able to save time and make them as short as possible. So with this trickle charger we're going to begin by disconnecting the power here and then we have our negative lead right over here will go ahead and take this nut off and we'll remove the terminal and this is our positive we'll go ahead and take this off and remove the terminal okay as you can see we removed both positive and negative wires and here's our replacement wires and it's pretty straightforward you can see red that's obviously positive so that's going to go to our positive terminal right here and the black right over here will go to our negative and they also will be labeled on the battery itself there actually is a negative right over here and it might be a little bit hard to see there's actually a positive right over here so we're gonna put on the terminals then we're gonna tighten them down okay as you can see now we've connected both positive and negative terminals we've went ahead and put it back on the bolt on both of them and cranked them back down so now it's pretty simple. All you really have to do is just plug this into the charger and then plug it into a power strip with all three batteries and repeat you know, the same process of connecting this with your, this battery and the next battery and then you'll be pretty much ready to go. Now we're ready to go ahead and connect the power cord. This is pretty simple. We're gonna just unplug this right over here. And it's very simple. It just plugs in just like this. We go ahead and slide it in there. And now all we have to do is plug in the power cord, this right over here into the power strip. As you can see right now, we have three trickle chargers plugged into a power strip. The new charger is actually charging right now. You can see it right there, it's in red. And it's very simple. One terminal red, one terminal negative, and you can repeat that step for all the batteries, for all three batteries. And it really is not gonna get much cheaper than this. You're not gonna get an original charger for $90 unless you find one used. And pretty much, we're gonna go ahead and mount these down. We're gonna 
silicone it down, make all the wires nice and neat. But that's pretty much straightforward. You always want your wires neat and away from any sharp edges. That way when you're driving any vibration, nothing's going to rub or get damaged. We'd like to thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share on social media. And visit us at seehowtodoit.com. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.